Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Welcome to another episode of Mark's Photography Spot. I apologize for the voice. I'm kind of recovering from a cold, uh, but it's gotten a lot better in the last couple of days. But I wanted to get this review out and posted, and that is of the Canon EFS 15 to 85 millimeter lens. This uh, lens I purchased last year uh, to upgrade from the kit lens that came with the uh, EOS T3i that I bought almost two years ago at this point. Uh, I got this when I got the camera it came with the, the kit 18 to 55 millimeter lens as well as the 55 to 250 millimeter lens. I wanted to upgrade uh, the quality of the lens and I also wanted to, to get a lens that gives me a little bit wider um, range as far as my options and after some research I wanted something that would be easy to walk around with kind of an all day one lens to do it all type of thing uh, for the type of shooting I do which is mainly outside landscapes cityscapes um, car shows that type of thing uh, after a lot of research into the, a lot of the options I, I decided that the EFS 15 to 85 would probably fit the bill for me and after having the lens for just about a year and 2500 images I couldn't be happier that I got the lens. Let me kind of give you a um, uh, little bit of, about the lens and then I'll, I'll show some example images uh, that I've taken shot with this lens at the end. Uh, one thing, I'm not going to do super geeky, technical, pixel peeping type of reviews. There's plenty of those out there. So if you are looking for a lens or researching this lens, I want my reviews to be kind of the man on the street, typical user type of reviews. So I'll try to give you a, an overview of the features of the particular lens, what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and then you can use that along with the technical stuff to make up your own mind. So hopefully you find my style of review to be a complement to some of the more technical reviews out there. Um, all I'll do is relate my, my experiences and uh, let you know what I like and don't like about, uh, about any of the equipment that I review. So um, the 15 to 85 millimeter is a good solid range for kind of an all-in-one lens. Um, the, at the 15 at the wide angle side it gives you pretty close to a wide angle lens. I guess uh, it would be a, a full frame equivalent to a 24 millimeter uh, to 125 uh, on, the, on, the on the telephoto end. So it gives you a, a range of almost wide angle to a mild telephoto lens which for me um, covers probably 95% of what I shoot when I go out to shoot um, when I go out with my camera to take images. So um, that was the main thing. I want something that would be a fairly good range knowing that if I need an ex more of a telephoto well I'm gonna have to take my other lens and when I need more than that 85 millimeter I use one of the kit lenses that I got with the camera which is actually a pretty good lens which is the 55 to 250 um, telephoto and it does a fine job for the type of work I was, I'm doing. Um, this lens is not a particularly fast lens. It is f3.5 to f5.6. So it's not the kind of lens that you're going to use indoor and low light uh, shooting a kid's birthday party. This is going to be the kind of lens that you would use in um, uh, natural lighting or in a brightly lit room. Uh, if you are inside, you might have to bump up the ISO in order to get an acceptable shutter speed. But for typical outdoor photography, um, this is a very solid lens and if you're indoors with a flash this is a great lens as well. The, um, the thing that's nice about it, it is image stabilized all right, but and it's got autofocus so it is, and image stabilized but it does have a manual focus override so you don't need to switch out of autofocus if you need to uh, go into manual focus right away to fine-tune something you can do it right here with this with this inner ring right next to the camera body all right. The, the size of the lens is pretty compact um, which is one of the things I was looking for, something that would kind of go along with that theme of easy to carry around and uh, easy to use. And um, it is definitely that. You can see the size, it's no bigger than the camera. All right. And pretty, it weighs, I don't know, what is it, a pound and a half, 20, 22 ounces maybe. A little bit of a thunderstorm going on out there. But even when fully zoomed out, it's still not unacceptably large I guess. It's still very compact so this fits nicely in a, in a small backpack, fanny pack, uh, small camera bag along with your with your DSLR you're good to go. The um, it, is, it uses 72 millimeter filters 
which is a little bit larger than some of the, um, uh, it's definitely larger than the kit lenses. So you will, if you get this lens and you want to use a filter, uh, you're going to have to get a 72 millimeter, which is, uh, which is going to cost a little bit more. Anytime the filter is a little bit bigger, the cost is going to go up a little bit. The, um, like I said, I've shot about 2,500 images with this, and the thing I like about it um, is that the image quality is very, it's very solid. Any errors in the image are due to me rather than the lens. When I have, when I do my job of focusing and uh, getting the appropriate shutter speed and keeping the camera still, this this lens is very sharp. And I'll show you that in some of the images. You can probably get a little bit of an idea. The um, it's, lens is also pretty resistant to glare. So if you're shooting in sunlight, that type of thing, it's got some good quality coatings on the glass, which is one of the things you pay extra for when you, when you kind of step up in quality. Uh, it's got some decent coatings on the glass, so you, the glare is, uh, it's still going to be there if you shoot right into the sun, but for the majority of shooting, you're not going to notice uh, glare uh, on the lens, which is nice. Now the one thing the lens doesn't come with is a lens hood. I don't know if you're going to pay six, this runs 650 to 750 brand new. I don't know why they could why they can't include a lens hood, but I bought this, uh, just bought it off of Amazon, um, and it fits right on it. It's a Canon style lens hood. I think it might actually be, yes, it is the Canon lens hood. And I got it for, I don't know, maybe nine or 10 bucks tops, uh, but you will need to buy a lens hood. I recommend that you shoot with a lens hood whenever you can. It just helps uh, keep dust off the lens, uh, protects the outside of the lens, and also helps reduce glare. The um, overall, yeah, I'm really happy with the lens. Um, like I said, it's not an indoor lens, it's a general walk around outdoor lens. It gives me a pretty good range that I need. Uh, if I need something more than that, I, I have to use a telephoto, like I said. And if I need something wider, then you got to go to a dedicated wide angle lens. Uh, it does have mild macro cap capabilities, but not much. I mean, this is not a macro lens. I'll show you an image that I took that was as close as I could get to macro. It was a, I think it's a, a butterfly on a, on a flower. But um, I purchased this lens used. New is about 650 to 750 like I said. I got it for $560. I bought it from somebody that I knew here locally and I knew the history of the lens so I knew it, I knew it hadn't been dropped or abused. Um, some people will always buy used, other people only buy new. I'd say used is, is a valuable uh, option if you know the history of the lens or you have a good reputation on the seller of the lens. You want to make sure that you're not going to get taken because lenses can be abused and um, not show that until you get the lens and start using it. So uh, just something to be aware of. Uh, but even if I had paid full price for it, I'd still be very happy with the lens. I, I expect I'll be using this lens as long as I have a Canon DSLR. It's a very high quality lens, probably just a step below the Canon L lenses as far as quality. A lot of people say that and Based on my use of this lens, and I've shot uh, some L lenses on some friends' cameras, this is pretty darn comparable. I, the image quality is, is, is very good, um, and for 99% of what you're shooting, this is going to be perfectly fine as far as quality. That's a well-built lens. It's fairly substantial, weighs, I don't know, maybe 23 ounces or so. Good. Got a little bit of heft in the hand, um, but it's still relatively compact. Okay. Um, that's the review of the lens. Uh, the one thing I don't, uh, generally I like it overall. Uh, the one thing I don't like, and it's not a big issue for me, but I wish it didn't happen, is a little bit of zoom creep. When the, and that is when the lens is pointed up or down, when you get in a certain, it, it kind of auto zooms on itself. You see that? Kind of between about 50 millimeters and 30 millimeters. Uh, it, it'll zoom, the, the lens uh, mechanism doesn't stay where you uh, where you want it to stay. But for normal angles, you know, horizontal, mildly up, mildly down, not an issue at all. It's never really been an issue. I just wish it wouldn't happen, but it does. So um, there's the physical review of the lens. I'm going to go through and go um, go through some images that I've shot with the lens just to give you an idea. Uh, I'm interested in your comments on the lens, if you have it or had it, what you liked or didn't like about the lens. And also, if you'll what you want to see different in the format of the reviews. I'll try to adapt the format as much as I can to make it easier for you to get the information you need on these equipment reviews. So stay tuned for some example images and uh, we'll be back in a second. Okay, here are some images that I've shot with the 15 to 85 millimeter lens. Uh, just some random images just to kind of give you an idea. Um, this first one is I don't know, a typical landscape shot, maybe, uh, taken at our local arboretum when we were up uh, visiting 
uh, family in Pittsburgh. This was in the fall, nice blue sky, um, trees, uh, the leaves are, are pretty sharp in here, just good color balance. I didn't have to do a lot to this image to, um, to, to get it to look like this at all, pretty much just uh, um, nothing. I mean, this is pretty much right out of the camera, so uh, very good shot. Um, here is another landscape shot. This is at the Bistai Badlands in uh, New Mexico, um, in the northwest corner of New Mexico. These are really strange mud, um, what they call hoodoos, eroded rock. And this was taken in the morning. Sun was shining up on the, on the multicolored rock. And as you can see when I zoom here in here, sharpness is great. Um, color balance is nice. Just a real easy lens to use. This was uh, F13, uh, 85 millimeter full zoom. I was shooting across a valley, uh, a little chat chasm to get over here. Um, here's an image that's kind of demonstrating. This is 85 millimeters um, at F7. And this was just a, a moth on a, on a flower here in a park in Atlanta. And just kind of give you an idea of the sharpness. You notice that it is um, very sharp. Uh, you can make out the individual hairs on here. So the lens does a really good job. Um, just like any any camera though, uh, you're going to probably want to make some adjustments uh, when you get the, the image in the uh, in the software. Especially if you shoot raw, because if you shoot raw you are going to have to to, um, uh, to to add some things, uh, maybe bump up the contrast, uh, take care of some sharpening, noise reduction. But um, the images are really, really sharp. Here's a um, here's kind of a portrait. This is a street a um, musician at a farmer's market here in Atlanta. Um, this was once yeah 65 millimeter uh, focal length. Uh, he was playing the guitar here, as you can see. But I really like the um, uh, the reflection the guitar here. Uh, just a, it's, it's a nice lens. You really don't have to think a lot about it. If you do your job of, as a photographer of composing the shot, uh, you will do very well. Here's nice sharpness, um, the hair, the, the, the face, um, everything. Just really nice. So there you go. Hope that helps. Um, um, the lens is a really nice lens. I think it's a great all-in-one walk-around lens for just general photography, kind of out and about, uh, taking, taking photos of what you see out there in the world around you. So, hope this uh, review helps. Let me know if you have any comments or anything. Uh, please subscribe, Mark's Photography Spot um, on YouTube, and uh, look forward to uh, hearing your comments. Take care, everybody. Happy shooting.